So it's often quite a surprise for the general public to think of it as a disease which isn't just simply um, a more severe version of normal aging. It's actually a disease which kills people and kills people on a time scale which is not dissimilar, for example, to cancer. manifest in terms of uh, thinking and memory skills declining, uh, potentially spatial awareness declining, um, and then over time symptoms become more and more severe to the point where you need care to, to help navigate around the house, you, you become incredibly forgetful and um, you lose the person that you once were. Because the brain controls all the other organs, you actually get secondary knock-on effects of the other organs so that they start functioning less well. Dementia is quite often look to be an older person's disease. But I can assure you at 49 it wasn't for me. The dementia has quite a big impact on how I go about my daily life. I think the impact on family life is one of the areas that I struggle with the most because I don't feel confident anymore at looking after my two grandchildren. We're now approaching a million individuals with dementia in the UK, of whom about 650,000 are Alzheimer's disease alone, for whom we have no drugs to slow down, let alone cure the disease. And, and those numbers are only rising. The UK leads the way in a number of areas for, for dementia research. We certainly have some of the, the world-leading dementia research scientists in the UK, alongside the world-leading institutions. We have a huge public health problem, no drugs to treat this, so how do you work the levers to actually incentivize everybody to take get moving and, and, and do something about it. The Dementia Discovery Fund was formed October 2015 as a result of the recommendation of the World Dementia Council that a dedicated life science venture capital fund should be set up with a mandate to develop new disease modifying drugs for dementia. So what's outstanding about the Dementia Discovery Fund is the fact that we have six pharmaceutical companies that have come together to cooperate to try and find new treatments for dementia. They've come together alongside the UK Department of Health and alongside the charity Alzheimer Research UK. And they are pooling their expertise to help us develop new hypotheses for how we might intervene in the treatment of dementia. So this is highly unusual. Nothing has been done like this anywhere in the world, in any sector. Six companies coming together without commercial rights to anything that we develop. Because of the breadth of their strategic vision within the dementia space, it means that they can be really useful advisors and we bounce ideas off them. We, we work with them much more collaboratively than we would with, say, a typical investor. So as part of us exploring new new areas of biology which could be used for the treatment of dementia, we are out scouring what companies, if any, are around exploring those different pathways. And actually what we found is in many cases there are no companies at this point. So what we've been doing has been to work with academics and bring in our own team members to actually create companies which we can use to try and demonstrate the hypothesis and if successful we will then be recruiting management. So this is a very proactive venture capital approach to company creation in spaces where there are no companies to tackle problems for which there are so far no answers. A key part of dementia is that it actually spreads through the nervous system. So it starts in one region of the brain and then starts jumping from neuron to neuron. And we've some understanding about how that happens and in particular we've some understanding of very particular and specific proteins that are involved in this spreading and actually then making the next neuron sick. So what Gen2 is involved in is developing specific therapies that actually block that spreading of what we call these pathogenic proteins, these sort of abnormal proteins that make the next neuron sick. Having the research there does give a lot of hope just to know that we're moving in the right direction. 